been a week and one day since Golden Gary made his decision. And um, the number one thing that we learned is that a 72-year-old man is not any different than a 29-year-old man or a 32-year-old man or 27-year-old man. That's what... That's the number one takeaway uh, yeah. that that this show. A man is a man is a man. Orgasmic haze is real. That pillow talk, that talk that Gary gave uh, Leslie where he basically changed his mind 12 hours later about everything. Um, you know, so we're like, okay. And then, you know, we also know that pretty much... Seems like Leslie Fema is going to be on Dancing with the Stars. ABC had her right in the camera shot behind Alfonso Ribeiro as the credits were rolling on Dancing with the Stars. And she would kill it. Like, she's got oh, a background in dance, super right. athletic. She is, uh, yeah, she Perfect would kill for it. it. Collect yeah. that paycheck, Leslie. Perfect yeah. for it. Now, now, the big thing that we all thought was going to be revealed last week is, oh, Jesse, after the rose, we're going to find out we just, there's going to be a golden bachelorette and we were struggling because, you know, we found out that ABC, the bachelor producer, producers really disnified Gary. We found out he wasn't a grieving virgin widow. He'd been dating, uh, very soon after his wife died, had dated several women. He finally came out and confirmed after that Hollywood reporter about a week later with Katie Kirk that, Yes, he wasn't an honest about his dating past, but, you know, they do the Disney paintbrush. So yeah. we're wondering, OK, we were just thinking we're going to get a bachelorette. Well, guess who gave an interview? Leslie, who's the, you know, going to be marrying Gary on what is it? Teresa. Or Teresa. Teresa, Teresa yeah. January 4th, 4th uh, on ABC. So she is at her hairdresser before she flew out to L.A. for all of this stuff. And apparently before the broadcast of the live final yeah rose after part. the final okay. rose. yeah and she was getting her hair done probably getting extensions put in some fresh color and she's got this hairdresser and her name is um lisa scolamacchia and she's done Teresa's hair for a long time and i guess one of the things that happens on a show like this is like the outlets, tabloid outlets, entertainment, they come calling and they call everybody in your circle. Yes. And they got a hold of um, Teresa. Lisa. No, Lisa, Lisa Scolamacchia. <laughs> and she said that Teresa told her this about the show. When asked if she brought up, did, did she say anything about who's going to be the Golden Bachelorette? Lisa said that Teresa didn't bring it up, but she said, she told me, that the talk is that they're going to have another golden bachelor and they're going to bring back all the, the women, women and maybe add a couple more. No. And the 22 women who were introduced, remember, this is the ABC's, this is the best ratings they've had in years on The Bachelor. These women are all superstars and ABC doesn't want to make a decision about having one of them. And they want to reintroduce a Golden Bachelor and they'll do it the same time frame next summer. What say you, Brittany? I am irate. I think I was about, I think I was like 22 when I realized that the world is just different for men and di women. <laughs> yeah. I it took went, a while. Yeah, it took a while. I'm a little slow. It's it always fine. does. It always it, does. It always does. And it hit me. We were at a Thunder Down Under, my first time ever at one of these events. And there was maybe a thousand women at the Myth for five men, these five men. And then I find out men go to these strip clubs and get five, you know, there's a hundred women for every 10 men, you know, they walk around and get one-on-one -on -one attention. And this is what is another example of the bunch of women can deal with one man. Another man gets the spotlight. Right. Well, I have to say something vibe. though. Okay. Here's my, here's my little input though. Good point though. It is Thank very you. good, but it is also true that the pot of available people over a certain age is larger for women. There's more women in that pot than there are men. So trying to put together, I'm just playing devil's advocate yeah. as a dater it later in life, you mm -hmm. know, um, it, there's not as many available men as there are women. Okay, so but, but, just, but this is the bachelor. This is you sure. know people are going to want to. I don't know if I, if, if uh, yeah, people may want to be on it. Oh but yeah, they are. I I I'm not opposed to doing it both ways. 
I'm well, not this opposed is what to they both. would do next. It would be another golden bachelor, not a woman getting golden bachelorette. They need a woman first. They I need, need my a lap woman. Dance. I'm I need waiting a, for my lap, mm-hmm. my one-on-one lap dance. Still, I'm. They need here a woman first, but I do like giving all those women another opportunity because they were all so personable and wonderful. Uh, yeah, they I were mean, great women. Yeah, they were characters, and we've grown to them, and they're already using them in the next brand, uh, broadcast of The Bachelor with Joey. And also, they're going to be involved in the wedding. And I guess um, Teresa also told her hairstylist, you know, maybe I shouldn't have told you this, but I don't know for sure, but that's the talk. And that could explain why we didn't hear anything that night. She also told her hairdresser, Lisa, that the reason the ladies all got along so long, well, and maybe, Brittany, you've known this. I never knew this. She said... They didn't have any access to any hairdressers or makeup people, and they were going crazy, and that's why Susan was doing a lot. Yeah. And apparently, they take down almost every mirror in the house before filming because they don't want the camera people being shown while they're filming. So there's very few mirrors in the house to be used for getting ready. Everyone's fighting over the little compact in the Dior blush case. I mean... That would be hard. She said that was the biggest fight, was the fight for mirrors. and um, That's yeah, like a true dorm room experience. Very when much When you all so. share the bathroom. <laughs> very Give much me the so. mirror. And, and you it have was, the one on the ground that you sit and you do, because you bring yeah. it onto the floor. Yeah. And then my friend, my eagle-eyed buddy, Heidi, we'll call her, um, she pointed out, she's in the mortgage business, she pointed out that Gary claimed on the show that he and Tony moved into their dream house on a lake like a few months before she died. What he neglected, you know, that they got this house together, what he neglected to say is he didn't buy it till 2020, probably when the insurance after, after Tony died. That's okay. They rented it. Yeah. That's okay. I know. I'm he just, didn't know that she was going to die. And if they found the dream place, they were probably putting it together I'm, and figuring it out. It's just another painting I, in yeah. the disnification of... Uh, I think the most, excuse Gary. me, the most unfortunate thing, I think, is that they didn't... Because they had such a golden goose egg here. And because they couldn't be more honest and didn't want to show him like a normal man that he is and built yeah. him up and put him on this platform... It, which he went it, along with. He, I agree. But yeah. again, he's naive. He, What do you know when you go into doing real, reality TV and the well, way the editing happens? You don't know well, what's going to you, happen. You, you're, when you agree to say that you're a retired restaurateur when you really installed hot tubs and maintenance men. But he new, was a retired restaurateur because well, he it, did have a restaurant and he did sell it. Uh, I, but I'm just saying, Julia, you know, the painting was that he was this rich retired restaurateur who lost the love of his life and couldn't even date. Yeah. And so why we why does a white guy have to get even more of a painted brush when he's uh, you know a good painting when he's already got all the privileges in the world they did miss a good opportunity to just have him Say, you know, I could be honest, but okay, according... Dating stinks. I'm not good at it. Something like that. According to Us Weekly, who's talked to the all the people in the town that Gary has his lake home in, he, know, he no longer goes to his little bar, the Spotted Nook. He well, that's wants, unfortunate. Yeah, I, they don't. <laughs> they think he's stuck up and snobby now. The TV fame has gone to Gary's head. And he's met and mingled with famous people and he's getting paid for Insta and he's getting paid. And so the people are like, well, when all this fame is over yeah. for okay. Gary, it's probably good he's moving to Charleston because his hometown, this little town, we're kind of bummed with him. As that was in Us Weekly. As soon as we saw him on that yacht with those Ray-Bans, we knew this was going to happen. We did, Brittany. We really did. Yeah. Anyway, well, he couldn't. I don't know, you guys. I want to be devil's advocate so bad, well, but why you know, bother? I don't know. You know I what? Mean, the devil doesn't need an advocate. That's right. <laughs> and, and 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 every woman in America, it got reconfirmed that the only thing we learn is that a seventy-two-year-old is just like a twenty-seven-year-old. Men are men are men. Yeah. Oh, you guys. Well, All good right. and bad, you All know. Right. I'm Gary. I'm seventy-two, and I'm your first ever Golden Bachelor. What I hope is that I can look at one of those women and know that I've found the right person.
You have Gary. You found the right one. I think Teresa is perfect for you. Yeah, I do. I do too. Where do you guys think? What do we know? So the wedding's going to be on January fourth. That's all we know. Nothing out there because I've been trying to find anything. Brittany, you see anything out there? Mm-hmm. No, but I have to say that with our sentiment of them finding the right person, I think my neighbor Carrie Heller said it right. Was I'm really glad they found each other. I just don't ever want to be around them. Yeah, I know it. I oh, know it's it. such a missed opportunity. Yeah. Oh. And, you know, don't get me wrong when I say that Gary was a badly behaved bachelor. It's become commonplace in the last few years for people to say I love you to two people, whoever yeah. is the bachelor, bachelorette. But, you know, we've had... Gary is just the same as other badly behaved bachelors in that he really did tell Leslie... Uh, uh, a very convincing story that he loved her and then he changed his mind 12 hours later. That is something that women and other people, anyone could relate to because we've all been sweet talked. Yeah. And I and mean, maybe done some ourselves. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think the closest, like almost version of messy bachelorette was, uh, remember, I don't know if you watched it all, Caitlin Bristow season where she oh. almost immediately fell in love with the guy, Sean. Yes. And, Pretty much told him, you know, she was sending him messages and like writing him notes and whatever and whispered in his ear, like, you're going to be the one, like, you're mine. Yeah. But the difference is she picked him. Yes. So it's like that's the closest we've gotten to somebody declaring. What well, we, we had Jason Mesnick who proposed to Melissa before changing his mind and ditched her for the runner up. That He did that big time. Molly Milani. Yes. Remember that happened? Yes. And. Yeah. They're still together, and then Ben Higgins broke the sacred seal. He told both his finalists, JoJo and Lauren, he loved them. Then he broke up with JoJo and proposed to Lauren. They broke off their engagement. And then Becca Kufrin, when she was dating that airy guy, um, he proposed to her, but then admitted he was in love with the other lady, Lauren. (laughs) So maybe Gary's just one among very many. And you're right, it is disheartening to know that... Men just are still men as mm-hmm. they grow old. You just but think they're going to be wiser and more sure of who they're they not, are. Not any they're wiser. Not. They're still prone to, you know, just being a man. And Gary, I think, really went along and just kind of whatever he was like, we know what we're doing. We we watch that show on Real. Those producers are very good. They're like yeah. therapist hand holders and they'll also book you glam, make reservations. You know what I mean? They're yeah. all around mm-hmm. in your corner. Brittany, what do you think happens if the next golden bachelor person is a man? I'm going to riot in the streets. My cul-de-sac <laughs> will never be the same. <laughs> what? I, I mean, I don't I don't know how to react. I can't regulate my own emotions. So, like, I, I don't know. I Would you watch it? Well, that's like asking me if I'm going to watch yeah. The Real Housewives. Of yeah. course I'm going to watch it. <laughs> but will I first then like let everybody in within, in, you know, that I, that I see that week that I'm heartbroken, even my dentist? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I will. I hope it's Leslie. Uh, ABC is making a mistake not to go with Leslie. Yeah. They really yeah. are. Well, we don't know that they're not. Well, first we, of all, don't we don't know, know that we're that. not. But Teresa blabbed her hairdresser that that's the word. And apparently these women are all tight. Oh yeah, they they're very you, they see each they other. They're great in a friends. Group. I'd yes. be anything to be in a group chat, but um oh, yeah. yeah. Um I think ABC would make a mistake not to go with Leslie because she became an instant hero. Hero. Yeah. <laughs> hero. Hero, hero. <laughs> hot AF. She's hot as all heck. So like mm-hmm. yeah. we're, we're pulling the nation for hot men. There has to be at least five hot men in the US oh, there of are, age. Yeah. And then yeah. also on top of it, it's like um, okay, at least there's a little illusion that they actually like The Bachelor, but mm-hmm. like to pretend, you know, like they get to see, they got to see Gary first and then they applied. Right. But like if we're just going to just grab a random man and say, like this guy, it feels, and I know that this is coming from somebody who watches a lot of produced shows, it seems <laughs> insane to be like, this is your man, fall in love with him now. <laughs> okay, here's my question to you guys. Do you guys know any single older man that you think would go on this show? I would love to. I know women. I would love your brother John to be on this show. <laughs> I, 
I feel like it'd be really weird. Never, if I can would. we edit that out? He never would. Um, I can't believe you said that out loud. But I'm just saying that I is somebody so that I know who's a great guy, but he would never be on the show. I'm just saying we all know guys, but it's like who they would, would be on the show? That's what I'm asking question. you. So this yeah. is my point that I just want to get back to how much easier, because I know a ton of women that yeah. would be on it in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. I don't know one guy that would be on this show. Well, does Justin, does my husband count as an older man or not? <laughs> no. <laughs> Lori, I was t- asking Lori during the mm. break about her husband, Casey, my brother, and she's like, well, he's married. Yeah. But I can't think of one guy that would be on Here's it. Here's the problem, though. I do have to say this is kind of a skewed perspective because it would be really weird if I named about 10 different single older men I just hang out with. So well, like, in that, in that way, like, yes, I know more. But you're right. I know what you're saying, and you're absolutely right. Like, So I think it might come down to a casting problem. That's all I'm saying. I don't think it's any kind of casting problem. I think that there are people that are nominated. Gary's life has drastically changed money-wise, fame. I mean, it is like now the older dudes are going, oh, wait, this can now we're, we've had our virgin experience with someone being on the show not to be famous, not to be an influencer, because they didn't really know that anyone would even watch it. Yeah. Now the word is out. This but is, do you know, again, I'm going to go back to this. It doesn't. There's tons of men out there that okay. we don't know, Julia. I bet you Luann and Sonia could. I bet they're calling them. Who do you know? They're calling people who move in a certain <laughs> okay. circle. You can bet they're yeah. That's doing a bad strategic. Circle, though, Lori, to but they're from. doing a strategic casting. You know what? Don't worry. There are plenty of men Julia, out there. Julia, bet accepted. By this time next week, okay. I will have met. I'm going to now start talking to older men and Perfect, getting a poll. Brittany. I'm going to find one man who okay, will agree let's to... All, okay, yeah, let's, that's our bet. Let's have him apply it's gonna get weird. At, thing. I would like to say, apologize to the Lifetime and Eden Prairie for the <laughs> trolling I will be doing this weekend. <laughs> mm-hmm. but I will okay, but that's you. That's an excellent assignment if we can each find one man that you yeah. think would be willing to do this by the next time we broadcast. And again, yeah. you guys are going to say no to Justin, right? Because he's technically <laughs> yeah. married. Okay, just checking. Just checking. Yeah. Minnesota would be a bad place to cast from. As a state. I'm telling you. Just, you yeah. know, I mean, I think you're, I mean, they're lucky they found old Gary from Indiana when they did. And they found him in like 20... 20- 2018, and then they did, they kept being so you're, fearful. You're kind you of validating wrong. what I'm saying, yeah. Lori. You're, you're yeah. kind of validating. And then he didn't even want to do it. They just need to go down to Naples. Yeah, oh, Naples would okay. be tons. Is the problem... <laughs> all right, we're not on air, right? I can just yeah, say we, this. Yeah, is the, sure. Is the problem that, like, men, A, let themselves go, or B, that they don't have an interest in the reality show, They're with or younger C, women. Or C... They don't, they are not lonely. Like, they don't want to interact. I'm, I'm talking about the single men because, like, why is it feel like there would be more women interested than this than men? Like, I'm well, literally women, just asking. Women outlive men. Yeah. Okay. So, there's that. Okay. Is so, that, again, <laughs> my theory. Yeah. All right, that's women a good... outlive men. Men very often go younger for whatever reason. They think it makes everything, you know, stronger, if you know what I mean. Um, if they're with a younger woman and, uh, yeah. And, you know, men, I don't think men want that kind of attention. What? That's the thing. And our producer, Grant yeah. is just saying, yep. Men don't want this but kind of attention. there are men who want attention. I give you some of the house husbands. There are plenty of men who want that kind of attention. Let me tell you, people are calling and actively throwing in their name. ABC is Lori. probably inundated with Golden Bachelor. Do you know what I mean? They are like, oh, I've got the perfect casting it's for you. Because now, Julia. It's, now not- it's casting. It's the nation. We can even expand that. We can say North America. We can expand our <laughs> like, net a little. Yes. Okay. It's hey, let's get a hot Puerto Canada. Rican. Heck yeah. <laughs> and I'll take one too. Like, yeah. while you're at it. Let's get a zaddy from Puerto Rico. Uh, and, yeah. Name yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. I'd love to see him be through. And I am not opposed. I guess I wish they would do Leslie first, but yeah. I'm also not opposed to. Do any kind of show ABC wants to put together with some of these women, I would watch. I don't care what they call it. I agree with you. And again, keep in mind, all these men have nosy, obnoxious women, me being an example of one, in their lives. So, like, you present... Leslie saying, this could, you want to date this woman? She's beautiful. She's this and this. You know, people's daughters, people's neighbors, they're going to be pushing them. So like, I think the key is you put Leslie out front, 
do you want to date this woman? I think we could get a great pool of men. And see? I would love. There you go. I yeah. Here's who it's going to be. I would love to see that interaction because, you know, we had the great women who were whatever. I don't think we would get that with men. There'd be different, you know, dynamics. Well, because- and also if the bachelor wants to follow their own formula, you always give the person who got the most heartbreak yeah. the next season. They've never wavered from that. Yeah. Becca yeah. got to be the bachelorette because she, she was, did. She, you know, everybody... Like, they want to build on that momentum. So it makes sense that they would do that. But I also can see them also going, well, we can just quick do a season next summer, throw all those ladies in the house, and we'll just get one guy, and then we'll work on everything else. Because they're all personalities established this fun, great TV. Yes. They're great TV. Yeah. Throw them in some other show. Put them all in right, an RV. Fine. Travel yeah. the world. That's fine. They just don't have to do this dating thing again. Like, Real don't, mature yeah, don't housewives. Don't make them date again. Don't make <laughs> yeah, them don't live make... like glampers. No. With no mirrors. <laughs> or like no chairs in the rose room. Like all the things like yeah I, let, let that, them let them go let them oh. live their lives and don't make them go to this wedding fine oh no they're, they're going to be there they're, they're going to be there it's they're going to be there it's, it's odd it's uh, so leslie odd. won't be there and faith won't be there no <laughs> <laughs> okay. i was surprised yeah well she they had to show there. up for yeah. the finale yeah. Yeah. all right well she'll, she don't think faith will be at the wedding no I don't. I don't. Unless she got a good paycheck and for it. And if I'm Teresa, I don't want Leslie or, or I, Faith there. I don't want some woman that he said, I love you in the heat and throes of passion <laughs> at my wedding. Thank you very much. <laughs> Shocking. That's a hot take right there. Yeah. Leslie's the flower girl and Faith is the personal attendant. <laughs> right. Oh, my gosh. And Teresa gosh. just is like look, looking left and right. Like, who's coming for my head next? I I'm know. just so glad I'm with Gary. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see what fallout happens before next week. Um, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, going after, after, after the rose on The Golden Bachelor. This is Lori, Julie, and Brittany from My Talk 1071. Bye, Brittany. Bye, Brittany. Bye, Brittany. I love you guys. We'll be back. I'll be listening.